So first I'll start by drawing the x-axis and the y-axis. So this is my y-axis. This is my x-axis. Use a scale while drawing this. On the y-axis I have my velocity. Since the unit is meter per second, so I'll write meter per second here. Next, on the x-axis, I have my time. So see, it will help you in a great deal if you can write alongside me. Here, I have my zero. So initially, before starting it, I'll explain you the graph that we will be making. So here, there is a constant acceleration. The body is going a uh, uniform acceleration. Hence, the graph will have increasing velocity point in equal interval of time. So the graph will look like this. Now next what I'll do is I'll label it. So this is my point A and this is my point B. The body initially had some velocity and this velocity is represented by u. The final velocity that the object reaches is represented by the letter v. So it is this one. So what I'll do next is I will draw perpendiculars from b on the y-axis as well as the x-axis. Like this. Now the one that lies on the y-axis, I label it as E and this is my C. Similarly, what I'll do is I'll put up perpendicular from A straight such that it bisects line BC at point D. So as you can see, now I have got all my points, right? This OC is the time interval in which the velocity of the moving object increases from U to V. So this is my time T. Understood? This much is clear. Now, as we have studied in the graph chapter as well, the slope of a velocity time graph gives us the acceleration and the area under the graph, it gives us, so velocity into time is distance with direction that is displacement. I hope this part is clear to you, how we have concluded this. Now, if I need to find the area under the graph, what I need to do? Simple thing, I need to find the area of this triangle as well as this rectangle. Now, as we have done earlier, since this ADCO is a rectangle, so DC is also U and similarly AD is T. I hope this much part is clear to you. So, we will continue and after you have made the diagram, we will continue with the derivation part for the, pos uh, for the position time relation or the second equation of motion. Now, here what we need to find is the distance travelled. So, the distance travelled by the object is given by the area of area under the graph, right? So, here the distance travelled is area of trapezium, since this is a trapezium, O, A, B, C. Now, what I'll do is O, A basically is this triangle plus this rectangle, right? So, that means that it is actually the area of triangle a b d plus area of the rectangle o a d c right now first i need to calculate the area of the triangle now area of the triangle as we all know is half times base times altitude right and Area of a rectangle is length times breadth, right? Similarly, for triangle ABD, we will find the area that is half times base times altitude. And similarly, for tri uh, rectangle OADC, we will find length, length times breadth. Now, next step what I will do here is, so area will be equal to OA times OC, which is for the rectangle, plus half times AD times BD. Now let's put in the letters first. So OA is U, OC is T. Right? AD equals OC equals time T. 
BD is so now from the previous question like in the equation first equation we have already calculated that BD is equal to V minus U right and this V minus U is actually AT from the first equation of motion so what I'll do is I'll replace this BD with AT correct now next I will have the equation as UT plus half so this A is 1 times and T see there are two T's one is this one and the other is this one so AT square right so this is my equation so I will get my final equation as S is equal to UT plus half AT times T right this means that the equation will come out to be ut plus half at square right and this my friend is the second equation of motion or you can say this to be a position a position time relation right now let's conclude what we have learned today so we have learned that S is equal to ut plus half at square which is the second equation of motion where S is the displacement, u is the initial velocity, t is the time taken, a is the acceleration and t again is the time taken. I hope this concept is clear to you. If you have any doubt, please do write in the comment section. Do not forget to like and subscribe the video. Next, we will be doing the third equation of motion. Till then, bye.